All right, laser pens. These are very good for projecting a single point of light on surfaces to either make textures or to just draw certain patterns or letters or pictures or anything you want to do. Uh, they come in different colors. There's red, there's green, which is probably the best one to get because it's usually the most brightest. And then there's like a UV sort of purple bluish one, which it only shows up in certain cameras which don't have a UV blocking filter in front of the camera. So beware of the purple one. And the, this one right here that you're seeing, you may have never seen this before. This is a six in one laser pen. That's what you that's what they call it on eBay. Um, it basically has a spinnable cap on it where you can project hundreds of different points on the surface. If you want to find one of those online to order, go on eBay.com and search six in one laser. That's where I got mine, and as far as I know, that's pretty much the best place where you could get one. Uh, Amazon does sell them, but they're kind of expensive there compared to eBay. All right, here are some examples of what you can do with laser pens. Uh, as you can see here, uh, you can just simply scribble the laser pen across your composition. You can do it either across an object or maybe some architecture like right here. kind of makes an interesting result. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can also use the laser pen to write letters on different surfaces and to create words. Here's a long exposure I took of where I shined the laser pen directly into my camera lens and I made it look like I was sort of like a wizard and like the laser was coming out of my hand or something. Um, however, I would not, I do not recommend doing this to your camera because it is a possibility that if you shine that laser into your camera lens and it hits, it can blow out your sensor and maybe cause some dead pixels or something like that. So I've done this a few times and you can get actually really cool results with it. Um, but again, I just, I'm not, I can't recommend it because it could damage your camera when you do it. And in this example, I kind of took a glow-in-the-dark pen, placed it on my arm so it looks like I was stabbing myself, <laughs> and then took a red laser pen to make it look like blood was coming down. Kind of like a Technotron type of thing. And right here, the green laser pen is actually extremely bright. So you can see that it's illuminating the entire hallway if you move it around during 30 seconds. And if your aperture is open enough, it'll just illuminate your entire scene. Now in this one you can see, you can see the laser from start to finish. And that's because there is a fog machine being used. So whenever it's foggy out or smoky or using a fog machine, you can take advantage of that and do some pretty cool effects with it. This one right here is the 6-in-1 laser. I just kind of scribbled a pattern on the wall for maybe a second or so. And this one, it's the same 6-in-1 laser pen. I actually just, I held the laser still and turned it on just for a second and then turned it off and moved it around in a circular pattern to stamp um, hundreds of dots of light onto the street. And this one right here is a compilation of a bunch of different pictures kind of stacked on top of one another. I took the green laser pen and shined it on a bunch of different areas in the hallway. And then I took the red laser pen and just kind of drew lines um, on certain highlights of the hallway to give it that techno feel. And I'm going to actually show you how to stack images inside of Photoshop right now. So you can do that. You can do that with laser pens or you can do it with any sort of light painting photograph. So here's how you stack images. All right, there's three different methods that we can use to stack images on top of one another. The first method is my favorite, and we're just going to be in Photoshop. It's usually you're going to want CS4 or higher. I'm not sure if this method works on any version below that, but you should be using the newest version of Photoshop anyway. So in order to do this method, we're going to click File, Scripts, load files into stack. We're going to click that and this thing will pop up and we're just going to click the browse button and then we are going to locate our pictures that we took and here they are. Here's some right here of the hallway picture. So I'm just going to do a few. I'm just going to do this one, this one and maybe a few of the red ones here. This one, this one, this one. Maybe that one too. That one kind of looks cool. 
And so we got a few pictures. All of these pictures were taken on a tripod, and all of them were taken with uh, manual focus. And probably manual mode too will also help. So after you're going to select a few of your pictures, you're going to leave all these things unchecked. You're going to click OK. And it's going to take a second for all to load all those images in, so just be patient. All right, they're all loaded up, and once you got that done, you will see that your pictures are down here in the layers palette. So you're just going to go on to the top layer, and then you're going to want to select this drop-down box here, and you can do either one of these, or actually you can do all five of these if you want to, but the two most common ones that I use all the time are either lighten or screen. So let's do lighten and you can see that now both of these pictures are showing up. The reason why these ones aren't showing up is because this layer is on top of all these ones and the blending mode is still on normal. So if we wanted to make it see through we would just click lighten and then you would be able to see the layer underneath that one. So if you just keep going and keep on clicking lighten you'll be able to see through all these different layers. Now if you have say a hundred different layers you don't want to go on clicking lighten every single time. You only want to do it once and then apply it to all the layers, right? To automate the process. So to do that we're going to right click on the layer, click copy layer style, and then hold down the shift key and then click down to the bottom layer right here to select all the layers in between. Then we're just going to right click on the text and we are going to click paste layer style. That will make all these layers lighten as you can see right here. All of them are labeled as lighten. Now screen, it's pretty much the same thing except it's a little bit brighter. It kind of makes everything look just a little bit brighter. So if I did copy layer style on this layer that's on the screen layer and then I apply that same layer style I made all these screen, you can see that it just brightens it up uh, significantly significantly compared to the light and blending mode. But either one, just experiment and then see which one looks better and go with that one. So that's how you do it. You just load all your images in here and then you pick the ones that you want and then after you're all done, you can click layer, flatten image, and just it's going to ask you to discard the hidden layers, the ones that are not active right now. Just click OK. And that will blend all those layers together all into one single layer. Then you can just save your piece as you would normally as a regular JPEG. And there you go. Now, there are a few other ways that you can load your images in here besides the file script, uh, scripts load files into stack method. There's two other ones. The other one is where you just manually drag and drop each layer into Photoshop. So let's say I, I want to pick these three layers right here. I got those selected and I'm just going to drag those drop drag and drop those into this frame. And then you'll get this box here with this X over it. Just push enter to place that layer in there. Push enter again and enter again and then those layers are in there so you can work with them. Um, now let me just close out of this. There is one more way to do this and that is in the program called Adobe Bridge. You can select the layers that you want to select. Just select the ones. I'm holding down the control key by the way to select individual images and then you can go to Tools, Photoshop, load files into Photoshop layers and when you click that it will just load them all into layers so that's very helpful and then like normal you can click lighten for the blending mode on all these or screen whichever one looks better at the moment and then there you go you have your compilation